daybreak in the desert of Namibia. Workers traveling in shuttle buses arrive at the Husab uranium mine. Among them, Karibi Puahi, a female heavy duty truck driver, now in her third year on the job. She's proving that this tough line of work isn't just for men. The workers start their day with safety talks. Strong opinions can be heard in the room. Kerry takes it all in. After the routine talks, truck drivers take shuttle buses to the pit, the place where they work. Being one of the just three female drivers, Kerry admits feeling some pressure. There are challenges though, because it's a men's world. So we live in a men's world and most of the things we are not able to do it physically. And the machines and the training that they do, it's also mostly based on the physicality of a man. So it, sometimes it's hard for me, but yeah. Arriving at the truck park, she carries out her daily checkup on the truck, which Carrie refers to as her baby. She says driving the 330 ton haul truck is a lovely experience and encourages other women to consider this as their career. To the fellow young women out there, this is an opportunity that we gotta take. It's not really to say it's not based on like it's a men's world, so women are not even allowed. We gotta take the challenge and live up to the to the name is the gender equality that we want. Carrie officially starts her work in the control room every day. But first, she stakes her family photos overhead, which serve as her inspiration. What gives me the inspiration is my family, mostly my son. Everything that I do, I have to work very hard for that young man. I want him to have a bright future, it's things that I didn't have. Her husband also works in the mine, one of China's biggest single investments in Africa. It employs nearly 1,700 locals. Carrie drives 14 round trips per day in the Namibian uranium mine, with the inspiration being her son and husband taking challenges in a man's world. Li Jianhua, CGTN, Swakopmund, Namibia.